Afternoon, everybody. It's Kevin at uh, Kevin's Northern Exposure. Uh, today I've got uh, my uh, 40 horse, four stroke Merc. I am going to be replacing a prop that is extremely badly damaged uh, from last fall. Uh, in my last video, I told you, uh, you know, I was uh, a little rough on it, and uh, well, I am always pretty rough on it during duck season, and. Uh, I hit a lot of uh, a lot of you know gravel and, and uh, stumps and things like that. Uh, it's my third prop in my third season. Uh, my first prop went um, when my uh, family member uh, I let them use my boat and they they hit a rock bar and uh, kind of messed up the skag and the and the prop and whatnot. Um, so I uh, I had the skag rewelded and then I. Uh, got a new prop and this is the new prop that was on there and um, and then I had the old prop um, remilled and that uh, you know I'll be honest with you you know that was like $125 you know a new prop is I don't even know um, hundred and fifty to hundred and eighty dollars it, it there's not a whole lot of difference um, but uh, this is uh, actually the, the prop I had reworked here. I don't know why. Here it is. Okay. Well, that sucked. Uh, anyways, this is the new prop. This is a uh, um, 10 and a half, 13. Same as that prop, 10 and a half, 13. It says it right here, 10 and a half, 13. Um, I think this was the box for this prop, actually. And when they remilled it, they just stuck this in here. Uh, so what you're going to need for this is a uh, 15 16 inch socket, a screwdriver, and uh, maybe a small hammer. Um, it's a pretty simple um, method of um, removing the prop and putting a new one on. Uh, there's a nut, uh, a, basically a locking ring and a hub, um, and uh, that holds it on. This is 13 time. Um, hub here, and it's really funny, I don't even know why, but uh, this is all the parts for the old one right here. Thirteen spline, but that's uh, I guess all the old parts to my old um, unit. So we're going to uh, go ahead and start uh, this little locking ring right here, and I don't even know if you can see this. I'll bring this camera in here a little bit. Let's see this little locking ring right here. You can see how it's kind of bent uh, around this nut and that's actually to hold to make sure that the nut doesn't back off that's it, it that's its only purpose and it uses this little um, nub and this little nub right here uh, to, to hold itself in place so um, yeah that's really all there is to it so you bend these two back one on this side one under here and then uh, then you can back your nut, nut off you're also going to need a small block of wood uh, to hold on the prop um, when you're uh, backing it off. So. You just want to give yourself enough room to get your socket in there. socket around the, the nut and that'll that'll do it okay I'm gonna get a little piece of wood here um, and then we'll uh, then we'll take it off you can move these tabs a couple of times and after a while uh, you're gonna need to get it replaced so
Okay, that's the locking nut. This is the locking ring. Right here. And then this bolts right out. That fell out. Okay. This one. I can kind of see what's going on here. That's what it takes. So if it if these don't line up right, you can back it off, turn it just slightly, another click, and then it'll line up to the tabs.
that's it. Like I said, I was not expecting that in there. But pressing that hub in there was easier than I thought it was going to be. So, that's it. Till next time, take care.